in Microsoft Access 2016 and beginning from 2010, uh, we have the possibility to format uh, buttons and all that stuff in a, a fast formatting uh, templates. But on um, if you have an, an existing database, it might happen sometimes that it's not available, it's disabled, uh, this function. Also, you click on the button, for, like here. Um, and usually, uh, most people would go to the options of the database, to the actual database. And uh, so if you're a programmer, and you will find there uh, this uh, design, Windows design uh, controls to have, have to be activated. But still, if it's off and you click it on, and uh, here are some options on the bitmaps, if you activate it, it's still not available, uh, even if you close it and uh, or not. So I think this is a problem from uh, Microsoft uh, upgrading. Uh, there's an internal flag, it, you won't be, uh, I, I didn't find a possibility to, uh, to uh, enable those um, formatting templates. But what you can do now for, to get a solution, if you need this, um, you have to close the old database, since this, is, this would be useful anyways. And then, then you open, uh, you crea create a new database. Uh, let's say, yeah, template. Oh, th the same, yeah, same, 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 and you. And it's here in uh, Access 2007, beginning from there to 2016. And uh, we do it in the same folder or oh, what? Doesn't matter. I take it in there. Okay. Now it's a blank database with a new access format, and then you have to take the external uh, data. You're importing all the stuff what you had in your uh, former database, which didn't work. It's a little bit ridiculous, but you have to do that. Um, now let's see, and I will show you that it works then. Um, databases. Here's my former database, which didn't work with this form, the uh, first formula, what you saw in the first form. And <clears throat> now when we are here in this new database and have the same button, just the formula, the form was imported, then you will find that format that uh, you will be able to drag any uh, uh, for, uh, new design property into uh, onto this button even here for example uh, let's say new design and here make a something round now this it wouldn't be uh, was disabled all that stuff on the former uh, mdb file so this not, this is now and and the options let's have a look on the options of the actual database that's all the same uh, you see uh, design, uh, this Windows Design is enabled on those buttons and all control devices, uh, UI stuff. And the difference is, uh, this is now an ACCDB database, and this was originally um, an MDB file. MDB file, uh, which worked also, but um, it was not. Uh, it was already converted to a new format, but some internal flags were uh, disabled. So this is the solution to get it running uh, on the, under Microsoft Access 2016. Uh, what you have to do then is, uh, in your new database, import everything what you have there. Everything from the old database to the new database. This needs only uh, 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 a few time. <clears throat> Let's say here, yeah. where was it? Everything wa which was in the other database, here it is. Import everything what you have there, everything in there, and there, everything, and there, and there, and there, and there, and then just uh, import it 
and everything will go to the new database and after this it would run. Oh, ActiveX uh, element was there. I don't know what this uh, is, has uh, nothing to say in this example. Reports are imported and all that stuff. <clears throat> and after this the machine would work again. So do the same if you have an old, old database and if you had this uh, fast formatting, format uh, design elements don't work. I don't know how it's called in English. Uh, it would work then. No? Okay. You see there, uh, there's a lot of stuff actually uh, actualized or so refreshed. Uh, reports are refreshed and so on. Ta -ta -ta -ta. But this will, this will work after this.